do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends now we are going to do a numerical or we are going to see a reaction whether we could predict whether the reaction is spontaneous or not and this would be based on the gibbs free energy change so let us talk about it so this is the reaction that they have provided to us they said we have to comment on the thermodynamic stability of the no that is gas uh, given in this reactions that we have that is nitric uh, oxide and in this case basically half no n2 plus half of o2 that gives us no and in this case the delta h naught is been given as 90 kilojoule per mole while that of in nitric oxide if it has been reacted with half moles of o2 then it provides uh, nitrogen uh, dioxide so on this case the delta h naught is been given as minus 74 uh, kilojoule per mole so in these two reactions we have to predict that whether the reaction is been uh, stable thermodynamic stable uh, as well as we have to predict whether the reaction is spontaneous or not uh, when this forms the nitrogen monoxide and uh, in this case that is nitrogen monoxide is been uh, converted into nitrogen dioxide so in this case what we can find uh, let us see about that so starting with the first reaction that is for first reaction that they have given us So in this case, basically what they have provided us is half moles of N2 plus half moles of O2 that should give us one mole of NO and all are present in a gaseous state. And here the delta H value is being given as that is 90 kilojoule per mole. So first of all, the thing is whether to predict whether the reaction is spontaneous or not, we have a formula that is delta g is equals to delta h that is minus t delta s but here only delta h value has been given and there is no clue of the temperature as well as of uh, the uh, entropy the change in entropy but one thing is for sure that we could predict whether the reaction is spontaneous or not by assuming uh, the number of moles that has been increased or decreased in the uh, when we compare for the reactants and for gas so as we could see that is the value of delta n in this case would be nothing but the number of moles of the product that is i will write it as number of summation of number of moles of the product minus the summation of number of moles of the reactant so in this case i could see that the number of moles of the gaseous i will talk only about the gaseous molecules so therefore the number of uh, moles of the product in this case is one minus of the num the summation of number of moles of the reactant in this case is half plus half that is nothing but one and one minus one is nothing but zero so in this case there is no change in uh, uh, number of moles if the number of moles would have been increased or it would have been increased uh, that is more than zero then it could have been said that the uh, gas has been expanded and the entropy has been increased so because if the entropy has been increased then we could have said that the uh, reaction is basically spontaneous but in this case when the delta n is not is equals to zero then that means that uh, it has nothing to deal with the spontaneity and moreover if we would say that the delta h here has been positive so therefore if delta h is positive that is more than zero and uh, in this case even if the delta g in this case will be zero because this will have a higher value uh, than the uh, t delta s that means the delta g will also be positive in this case so this clearly indicates that if delta g is more than zero this will be a kind of non-spontaneous reaction so this is nothing but non-spontaneous reaction and more when we are uh, observing that this is the 90 uh, kilojoule per mole that is the temperature uh, that is the heat of reaction that they have provided to us this shows that it is a endothermic reaction so i could also write it as an endothermic reaction but this was the first one then let us talk about what would be the for the second reaction that we have so for second reaction What they have given us they have given us basically nitrogen oxide plus half of o2 that gives us nitrogen dioxide and in this case the delta h naught is basically minus 74 uh, kilojoule per mole so in this case what happens is when i calculate the number of moles that is uh, the delta n and in this case basically if 
I calculate the number of moles of product minus the submission of the number of moles of the reactant. I could see that the number of moles of the product is 1, while that of the number of moles of the reactant uh, are 1 minus half, 1 plus half if I would say in this case. So this will lead to uh, make the equation or make the number of moles to be minus half. So if the number of uh, moles of the gas if I would say if it decreases if it is uh, below zero then I could say that the entropy also decreases. So if according to the uh, formula that we have that is we have delta G is equals to delta H minus T delta S this is what we have and as we know that if the value of the delta S will be negative then overall this will be uh, positive the overall delta G will be positive but the value of delta H that they have given to us the value of delta H that they have given to us is minus 74 so minus 74 kilojoule is what they have given to us so if we substitute the value over here then the delta G will be minus 74 kilojoule and this is nothing but T delta S so if we have to make the delta G to be negative then this is possible it will be possible if if the value of the delta s is uh, less along with the temperature if the temperature is lower then the overall uh, delta s will be in a negative thing only because the delta s is now negative so therefore the value of uh, minus will be as it is and moreover the value of t delta s should be smaller than, than the magnitude of the 74 kilojoule that we have so this will be uh, this will be negative if if the temperature is low that means at low temperature the spontaneity of the reaction will be more so therefore what we could say that in this case it is spontaneous it will be spontaneous but moreover the condition is that there should be the temperature should be less so now this clearly indicates that the second reaction that we have is basically so now talking about the thermodynamic stability so what we have got to know is when the the spontaneous of a uh, the spontaneity of a reaction in this case now will be uh, at lower temperature and uh, the spontaneity will be more or basically we could say that the delta g will be in negative and hence the reaction will be stable and the reaction will be spontaneous but talking about the spontaneity and uh, thermal uh, stability then the thermal stability will be less at low temperature which means we are saying that at lower temperature the thermodynamically stability of the nitrogen will be less that means it will be unstable it will be more unstable at lower temperature so that is what i wanted to explain you so because of which and here what we have got to know that uh, without having the value of the delta s we could predict uh, whether the reaction is spontaneous or not depending on the number of moles of the reactant as well as for the gases and uh, and to assume that whether the reaction is spontaneous at higher temperature or at lower temperature so this is what we have got to know so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have liked this video and you have got to know various information uh, regarding this video so share this video with your friends and just don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much